Freddie. I'm Graham. And we're at the Ace Cafe in Cricklewood. We've talked about classic guitar sounds, guitars that sound like guitars and sound songs, and sort of roughly, we did a rough bit of muso talk about how to get the big fizzy, fizzy noise aloe light revolution. Beatles revolution. So I think. And the antithesis of classic guitar sounds, how to do that. Yeah, how to get posh, how to get cheap, yeah. yeah. But you're a Stratocaster user, you use Stratocaster no, well, mainly or is are you? Okay. You're telling me. Yeah, yeah, I, I am. I've, I've often tried, I've got a Strat and I've often tried it, but then something happens with me in Strats, so I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know whether it, it reflects on you guys or, or, or totally up, but I find it really sort of like um, quite burly. Did I say, have I said that before? It's quite um, strong. There's this kind of a, quite a deep voice, and yet there's a real playfulness. And um, <clears throat> and it's kind of has it, and, and it's like it sounds like you know it's. It, I haven't heard anything that's really melancholy. Do you have melancholy moments, or is it all right? Yeah, full it's, on. No, it's, lyrically it's quite melancholy. I think that's I mean, it's just I mean, disguised, I guess, by the sound. But. Wait, I always thought we had. Yeah, I just I think there was always like a musical level and a lyrical. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Was, uh, yeah, there's that robust sort of voice, and and tambourines mixed really high, which I'm always a fan of. I think Graham is one of the most inventive guitar players. Incredible melodies and it all contributes to blur being like a really 